Although they shook hands warmly before the hearing, John Wisniewski was genuinely surprised that Bill Baroni or anyone from the Port Authority showed up. At issue is five days of major traffic delay in September caused by a study at the George Washington Bridge. It's a policy question. I understand the policy not, question. You know, I, I understand. It's a fair policy question. The political community was abuzz with speculation that Republican allies of Chris Christie at the Port Authority deliberately slowed down traffic as retaliation against the Democratic mayor of Fort Lee for not endorsing Christie's re-election. Baroni was here to argue that traffic study had a legitimate purpose. It seems that for years, three lanes out of 12 on the upper deck have been reserved for drivers entering from Fort Lee to the detriment of every other eastbound commuter. Every one of you on this committee has people in your communities who sit in longer traffic every day because of the special lanes for Fort Lee. Baroni apologized for poor communication to the public about the week-long delays and said it won't happen again, but Democrats were frustrated by some of the answers they were getting. I think it's really sad that an agency such as the Port Authority that has a budget larger than 26 U.S. states cannot be accountable to the New Jersey legislature. I'm you do a good job for the Port Authority. You <laughs> Thank are, you very much. You are very welcome. You are very practiced at obfuscating the issue. Wisniewski tried to argue there are similar configurations at other Hudson River crossings. I'm other happy to take a field crossings. trip with you and show you why you're wrong, but a you're wrong. A field trip with you? Come on, I'll even pack your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to get it tested first. Oh, oh Chairman, come on. The traffic study was to see whether funneling cars into one lane from Fort Lee instead of three would ease the morning rush, but it began on the first day of school in Fort Lee in the middle of a governor's race. Why now? Why September? What, what transpired to have somebody say, you know, we ought to look at having less lanes for Fort Lee? What baffled some observers was that the committee never directly asked Baroni whether the traffic study was meant to punish the Fort Lee mayor for his non-endorsement. Asking Bill Baroni whether this was punitive or political, do you expect him to say, oh yeah, absolutely it was. I mean, I thought the more appropriate way to approach this was simply about how this could happen who was responsible for this happening. He added, at best, it was clumsy, at worst, political mischief, but he and the committee still don't know. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.